Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I bought myself a full frame DSLR, the Canon EOS 5D Classic. In this video, I want to talk about my experience using this camera. Let's do this. Before we go any further, here are some important disclaimers. Most parts of Malaysia is still under full lockdown. I'm not allowed to go out to do anything non-essential. Therefore, most of the images that's shown in this video, they were taken before the lockdown was imposed. I've had a Canon 5D for a while now, and I've shot most of the images on the first week of January. I have no connection or affiliation to Canon. Canon didn't ask me to share my thoughts on their products. I bought the Canon 5D and the 50 f1.8 lens with my own money. I thought, why not? This is an old camera. It is dirt cheap. I got this set for less than 180 US dollars. That is insane, right? And before anyone goes around and say, hey, Robin is switching system. He's abandoning Olympus. Hold your horses. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving. My main camera is still Olympus OMD system. I still shoot primarily with my EM1 Mark II. I'm filming myself with EM5 Mark III. And I still have a plethora of Mzuko lenses. These are my main system, but I am no longer an Olympus visionary. I'm not tied to any brands. I'm free to explore all other cameras. I'm a photographer. I love all cameras. So please let me enjoy all these beautiful systems and cameras out there. I guess the biggest question here is why Robin? Why a full frame camera? Why Canon 5D? Well, this is not my first encounter with the Canon 5D. I've borrowed it from a friend before and I've shot extensively with it. I've shared my experience using the 5D in a blog article. I'll put a link to the blog article up here if you want to check it out. From that shooting experience, I actually enjoyed shooting with the Canon 5D. I really love the camera. I still do. And from time to time, I do think about buying the Canon 5D. Now that I'm not tied to any brand, and I found one used unit that's really cheap, why not? It is a guilt-free purchase. Of course, I cannot afford the latest and greatest from any brands, the current full-frame cameras that are ridiculously expensive. But hey, all cameras are not bad cameras. The Canon 5D was legendary in its days. It is a game changer in the full-frame world. It's the camera that got everyone's attention. It's the first truly affordable, consumer level full frame DSLR. So I thought having this camera, using it even in this year 2021 would be really interesting to see where this camera stands now. And hey, I need to make a mental note to make another video to say all cameras are not bad cameras. Despite the fact that this is quite an old camera, the Canon 5D was launched in 2005. That's 16 years ago. There are a lot of things that I like about this camera that shows that Canon really knows how to make a good camera. First of all, I love the build quality of this camera. It is built like a tank. It feels really solid and robust in hand. Secondly, the grip. It is so comfortable to hold, handling is secure, and I can use this camera for hours and hours without feeling any strain on my wrist or my shoulder or my neck. Well, technically I'm using a really small and light lens, the 50 f1.8. This can quickly change if you're using larger lens like 24, 70 or 70, 200. But hey, 
I'm sticking with smaller lenses to keep things manageable. And the ergonomics are really good. The button placements, the dials, they're all at the right places. They are easy to reach. It makes sense. And it shows that Canon got it. Canon got the art of camera making even 15, 16 years ago. This is something that a lot of other camera manufacturers have to learn and catch up on. And I'm looking at Sony and Fuji. I'm sorry, you guys have a lot to work on when it comes to handling and ergonomics. And this is a full frame camera. I love the fact that it renders really shallow depth of field, something that I couldn't do with my Olympus system. Now that this 50mm is f1.8, it gives really, really blur background and it's beautiful and oh I really love the colors coming up from this Canon 5D skin tone is looking really pleasing the colors are natural they are perhaps biased towards warmer side of things they are looking vibrant a touch too saturated but they look really really good I enjoy the colors and all the images that you see shown in this video they're almost straight out of the camera in terms of colors and white balance I didn't tweak the color whatsoever and it is something that I can work on if you need to shoot straight off the camera JPEG Canon 5D, I can see generally most Canon cameras delivers fantastic straight out of the camera colors There are not many things I don't like about the Canon 5D camera and my issues with them are not necessarily applicable during the time of the camera's launch. Most of these complaints are very minor and they are modern photographers problem where most of these new technologies, they don't exist yet. Now, I don't like the low resolution LCD screen at the back of the camera. The screen, it is very hard for me to check. It is almost impossible to make sure that I've had achieved critical focus in my images. Well, thankfully the camera's autofocus is quick enough and it's reliable for me to achieve very high hit rate. I have no issue using the 50 f1.8 on the 5 D and thankfully that really helped me secure most of my shots. Now I also don't like the fact that I don't have what you see is what you get. The live exposure preview which is only available in mirrorless cameras where I need to second guess every time I turn the exposure compensation dial if I shoot manual I have the calculation in my head but sometimes the outcome is a little bit different from what I've imagined. It is not because I'm making mistakes or you know there's metering errors in the camera. Things just happen right sometimes you do a setting if it doesn't work you try again and you get it a second or third time but with mirrorless cameras that's not the case you already see a result the exposure preview the simulation of the exposure even before you press the shutter button you're seeing what kind of exposure that you get you can adjust to what you want and you're sure to get it and i really treasure and miss that particular convenience when I'm shooting with a camera but this is a DSLR that's the main reason why mirrorless is the future I don't really have any other complaints I want to say that there is no image stabilization but that's not fair because this lens doesn't have image stabilization and Canon does have many lenses that do support image stabilization now other than that I do wish the camera is a little bit smaller uh, which is the case for most modern mirrorless or even newer DSLRs coming from any brands uh, they have downsized the camera a little bit and the weight is a bit more manageable. This is an old camera and all these complaints were not applicable during this launch. It was a legendary camera, it kind of got a lot of things right, that's why it was so popular. Even today, I want one.
In case you have missed it, I've also purchased the Fuji SF10. I've made a video about it. I'll put the link to the video up here if you've not already seen it. And this SF10 is extremely different from the Canon 5D. They are both designed very differently. The SF10 is really compact, light, pocketable, while the 5D is a hunk. The DSLR is serious, professional looking. They are both very different fundamentally. The SF10 has a fixed lens. You can't change lens. It has a 28mm wide angle equivalent. 28mm or wide angle lens generally is my weakness. I need to work on that. So this is a camera that I'll grab onto if I want to improve my wide angle shooting. It's just the right camera for me. Whereas on the Canon 5D, I have the 50 f1.8. I'm right at home with 50mm. It is the lens that I'm so familiar with. I've shot countless times with this equivalent focal length and I can just slap the lens on, go out, and immediately take the photos that I like. Now on the SF10, there is no viewfinder, so I'm stuck with the LCD screen. I have to compose through live view. Whereas on the Canon 5D, there is no live view. It was not invented yet on DSLR at that time. And I need to use the, the viewfinder, the optical viewfinder to compose my shots. And Autofocus is another difference, right? Although the SF10 is a 2018 model, I don't know what Fuji is doing. The autofocus is so painfully slow and unreliable. The Canon 5D, which is 16 years old now, it was launched in 2005, the autofocus on the Canon 5D is 10 times faster than the autofocus on the Fuji SF10. That aside, I think both are great cameras. They complement each other really well. Uh, both. Uh, give me really amazing image quality that I really like and I think I can just bring these two cameras out if I need wide angle I'll just grab this out to shoot if I need a more tight perspective I'll just grab the Canon 5D and shoot and I can just just bring one either one out at a time also no problem and I really look forward to go out more to shoot with these cameras but unfortunately there is a lockdown here in Kuala Lumpur we'll just wait and see and hope that the lockdown is lifted sooner rather than later. That's all I have to share about the Canon 5D full frame. Do you own one or have you owned one before? If you have, please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed the images that I've shared in this video, if you found any of my sharing useful, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal account. I'll put the links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution is welcome. It will keep me going and keep this place alive. Now, please give me a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to this channel if you're not already done so. And I'll definitely see you again in the next coming video. Until then, if you can, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.